Hey guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender, and this one's gonna be about modify scroll, which is an option for hard ops. Two quick things before we start, guys. Uh, number one, uh, we are releasing a course uh, with Blender Daily. Uh, it's gonna be a massive course coming up on 14th of May, so next Friday. It's gonna be 497 tips for Blender, and they're not just short, um, you know, uh, kind of quick tips, but also some of them are really extensive and in depth. So very 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 cool course uh, with a lot of insane tips for improving your workflow or just general blended knowledge we simply shared the uh, our knowledge that we've gained uh, throughout the years of studying blender and two uh, this month on patreon blender bros patreon there is a fantastic course it's a, a robotic uh, mechanical arm it's an add-on course but also we have another one that's going to teach you how to create an industrial render for your portfolio so it's a really cool stuff and then we have a decal pack and this decal pack is quite special because it's actually uh, with uh, coming with 2k emissive bounce light baked in so really high quality bakes and it looks just incredible so have a look links in the video description I took one of the cubes from this panel here, which is a smart cube that comes with hard ups, and I kind of sliced the shit out of it. So I want to show you something cool. So when you click on the cube and go to operations, go to modify scroll, you're going to see this window. Uh, usually it's a bit smaller like this. You can expand it here by grabbing one of these uh, um, arrows or lines, or whatever. And the lower one uh, is for, you know, kind of moving the window about. Okay, so this one's for sizing this one is for moving okay and you get you know numbers of the modifiers from 1 to uh, 28 so all the modifiers you can click here to switch between modifiers children and bullions because each of the cutters is actually a kid of you know a child of the of the cube and then you got bullions so you know you can uh, isolate just bullions alone or you can have all the modifiers right kind of toggle through them so let me show you how it works so if I click on the modifier here and if I hover over this window and I scroll, then I can scroll through this window. But if I'm outside the window and I'm going to start scrolling, you can see that I can actually scroll through the modifiers in the order in which they were added. In addition to this one, I can actually play it. So if I go back to, you know, kind of a, to a vert, because that's how the this box starts, starts with a vert. And I'm going to press uh, shift space or click on this button here, which is toggling auto play. I can actually play this um, from the beginning to an end, so kind of can see how this cube was created, which is awesome for creating GIFs or some kind of like short animated movies that showcase you know how your model was created. If you're working completely un you know non-destructively, this is really a cool toy. Okay, so it's gonna create you know all these modifiers and then gonna start playing this sequence from the beginning, right? So you can stop it here and let's go back. To the cube right so now uh, what you can do with this as well is you can move modifiers in the stack so you can move the order of modifiers so if you click on a modifier this is actually an older uh, the original behavior of this modifier scroll okay which is why it's called modifier scroll so you press shift and you can move this modifier up or, the up or down okay so you can for example grab this mirror right and you can move it up so you can see it starts unmirroring the the stuff to the right um, on the right side so it moves kind of up the stack and simply moves above the boolean so the mirror comes first and boolean second which means the boolean here is not being mirrored to the other side so if i move it down you see this boolean is going to get mirrored to the other side so this is how it works okay then in addition to all this you can um, click on one of these o's or zeros i don't know what it is i think it's an o and it stands for um, visibility in viewport i don't know why it's o but there you go um so you can you know enable or disable something in viewport right this one is for render and this one is for applying so if you want to apply uh, booleans from from here a kind of specific boolean you can do it from this window as well okay so there you go guys that's that's the um, modifier scroll in a nutshell um that's how it works right click to get get out of this window mode and of course with every menu in hard ups you have additional um op if you hover over this menu here, you can see additional options like shift, um, left mouse button plus shift, you can scroll through modifiers. So hold shift and click and then you can scroll through modifiers, right? Then uh, you got the um, control click, which is going to scroll through the child object. So it's the same as, you know, being here, right? In this menu. And the last one is simply smart apply. So you can hold alt and click on modifier scroll to um, apply 
all the modifiers except for the um, uh, bevel and weighted normals. I'm not sure why mirror wasn't applied because it should have been in my opinion because if you go here and smart apply mirror is gonna get applied so I think it might be a bug or something I don't know. I might talk to uh, Master Zion about it just you know flag it maybe it's an intentional behavior I have no idea but uh, smart apply should apply mirror in all cases so I think there might be some kind of a little bug. Anyway that's it for the uh, uh, modify scroll guys it's a really cool option especially if you work non-destructively and you want to kind of scroll through your mesh in a kind of like a sequenced manner and maybe capture it with a video or something kind of cool for gifs and stuff so that's it for the video thanks for watching links to hard ops and box cutter in the video description and uh, i'll catch you in the next video